Well, I thought I'd just mask up a bit because that sun's pretty intense. Even though it's winter time. Nice uh, red crab bait. Well, here we go. Oh, look at this. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Oh. I'm on. I'm on. Woo. Oh. Oh, it's a big fish. It's a big fish! Oh shit! Treat me up! It's a big fish! Oh! Woo! Wow, it took so much line! It's a big blue! It's a blue! Oh no way! It's a blue! Oh shit! My sink is caught in the line. My bloody sinker is caught in the FD. Good fish! Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put the rod down. Woo. Oh yes! No way! Wow! <laughs> Incredible! Look at that! <laughs> I can't believe it! <laughs> That is outrageous. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna have to stick that in a pond straight away to revive it. I need to stick that in the pond straight away. Okay, Bluey, don't go nuts on me, don't go nuts. Damn it, that pond's too shallow. Here we go. So it's just enough water for the gills there. Ooh, ah. 75, 76 centimetres. 76. Yeah, 76 centimetres. <laughs> That's incredible. You know what, I'm gonna, there's a deep pond over there. I'm gonna stick the groper in that, let it revive first, and then I'm gonna release it before I, before I, before I put that back in the water, I think. 
because um, there's not too many ponds around here, unfortunately. I might see what I can do here. Yeah, so for me, that's a bit too big to eat, right? I mean, you can eat it if you want to, but for me personally, it's a bit too big. I reckon that fish would go 10 kilos. First cast. <laughs> I fished for about three minutes with a groper bait. <laughs> It's just such an outrage that. Oh, look at that, it's kicking hard, but I want to put it in the pond for a while. Looking that pond's deep enough. Maybe that one there, eh? A lot of, a lot of water just spilt into there then. You know something, I may not put it in a net. You can see it's reviving quite well. You see the eyeball moving around? So it's back to life again. I reckon I might just release it. As it is, rather than put it in the net, I think. Okay. Oh, it's nearly flipping. I've got, to, oh, I've got to try and grab it as hard as I can. Otherwise it's going to... Oh, oh, that was a spine then. <laughs> oh. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. There you go, Bluey. Woo! How good's that? It swam off beautifully. Oh, so I revived it, measured it up 76 centimetres, I reckon at least 10 kilos, probably more. First cast within two minutes, probably even a minute. <laughs> I didn't burly or anything. Woo! <laughs> that is so good. Right, I'm straight back out there. Oh, by the way, I'm a fishing guide. Please don't expect a groper that quick. <laughs> I'm one of my fishing trips. It does happen occasionally. Wow, that was a real, real adrenaline rush. Super adrenaline rush, that was. Okay, ready to roll. I think I've just fallen in love with this outfit. It is so, so good, so tough. I like the length of it as well. It kept my line clear of the rocks. I'll be back in a minute. I've just got to clean my glasses. That groper just sprayed my glasses before. No groper. No groper. I reckon I'll be calling it a day soon. How lucky am I just to get that one bite? Hook, hook it without missing it and also land it. Because fish, fish that size can just destroy it. A lot of anglers, they use 150, 100 pound line. I, I find it a bit of an overkill, personally. You probably didn't see the run, but it took about, oh, probably at least 15, 20 metre run. Oh, maybe not 20, but at least 15 metres of line. It stitched me up there for a short period as well stitched me up, that, that means it actually, it went under a ledge and I can feel it grazing there, but fortunately it didn't bury me too much. Very fortunate.
westerly winds really picking up now. And uh, it's really cooling down. It's actually a good thing about these life jackets, they keep you a little bit warm to an extent. Oh, here we go. Let's see this. Felt a bit of a rattle then. So I've been hardly even getting a rattle. Nice tasty bait that one. A line laying technique that I use to straighten up my line. Especially when you've got lots of anglers to your right or to your left of you. Otherwise you end up with that big bow of line when you're spinning, say for example. So I like to lay the line down to avoid the line going across to the next angler that's right next to me, just as an example. It also keeps your line straight. It's more manageable. There we go. What's going on here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whew, okay, first snag. <laughs> Mine's a little bit damaged, but so I'm gonna have to uh, unite. I'm gonna have one more throw, and I think I'll call it a day, I think. I'm pretty satisfied. I'm not really desperate for fish. You probably wonder why I threw that back. The big Blues is, is the uh, leader of the harem. The harem being the male, is the leader, and then you've got the females, which could be half a dozen, 10 or 15 females. So, myself personally, I prefer to keep the smaller browns. Even the big females, like they're about six or seven kilos, I'll keep them occasionally if I really need a fish, but I generally, I even release the uh, big females. Big breeders, you know. I, I prefer groper around sort of three kilo, two or three kilo personally. Maybe four kilo max. So on my trips, I, I get my clients to release the fish that are above 70 centimetres. You know, they've got to agree to the uh, terms and conditions and so forth. But if you're fishing for yourself, you know, it's not that it's illegal to keep a fish above 70 centimetres, it's just my policy, that's all. And the fact is, in New South Wales, I mean, it's not that common to get groper above 70 centimetres anyway. I mean, they're not rare, but it's not that common. So. Okay, that's it. That is it for me. 
what an outing. Blue, catch and release, at least 10 kilos, I'd say. First cast. Funny enough, I didn't get any more bites, so usually when I grow up fish, I get additional fish. A few browns at least, up to that size sort of thing. Anyway, the way it turns out, it turned out brilliantly as far as I'm concerned. Awesome. So if you'd like to see more videos, please like, share and subscribe and I'll have more coming soon. Thanks for watching.